come to here in so Sonate, Los Leones. Vaya. The amazing thing here about El Salvador is that get it how you live. The culture of El Salvador continues to thrive. Anything you want. Oh yeah. Anything you need. Guys, here I am in Son Sonate, Pollo Campero. I was gonna go to Don Pollo, but I decided against it because Sometimes it's just a line that's just like super long. But here in this Pollo Campero, we just have the families just chilling. Um, and it's pretty cool. Later I will go to the park and see what else is around. But let me get some salsa. Better day. All right. So we have some wonderful attendants here that noticed me. And I told her, shh, I'm not the same guy. But she knew it was me. It's pretty funny. But um, I like some scenario overall. Oh, wow. Bye. Do you have any words that you would like to say? So you are happy to meet me? Yeah. Okay, gracias. And may I bless you in my name. You like my sponsor a lot. I do. That's why I'm here in Cincinnati to experience the cultura. <laughs> do you want to go to Ferrocarril? Which place? Ferrocarril. Where's Ferrocarril? Uh, it's a... Um, it's a monumento, mm -hmm. the train. Uh, oh, the it's train. train. It's a yeah. train museum. Yes. I saw that. Yeah. Mm. Do, you, do, you have, do you go there? Yes, my um, hotel is right next to it. Oh. So it's muy cerca. So I will go there mañana. Yes. All right, and what's your name? Hey, Cristal. Cristal. All right, so this is Cristal. She's been very nice to me, muy amable, this entire time. She got me this pollo campero, and I'm sure it will be muy, muy sabroso. So, muchas gracias. I will. Gracias. All right. All right, so let's see how this pollo campero tastes. I haven't eaten it since San Miguel. So, let's test it, all right? Ready? One. That bad boy. Greasier than a mug, boy. Look at that texture. Oh, wow. Mark Wayne style. Wow. Oh, that thing greasy. Look at the texture. Oh, wow. All right, ready? Where, baby? How did you come up, boy? I still like Pollo Campestre better, but it's okay. Masala mm. Talaga. All right, guys, I just wanted to say I had a wonderful time here at the Pollo Campero in Los Leones here in Sonsenare. This is CA12S. The staff and the crew here are wonderful. They treated me well. They gave me options to either take out or dine in. They have everything here, mucho sabor. This is the Pollo Campero to come to here in Sonsenate, Los Leones. Vaya. Quesadilla. Wow. No, it's okay. Just habla. That's us. All right. Let's go to the Super Selectos. Yes, the Super Selectos have been bought out by the Walmart Corporation. So you will see many great value items there. But the amazing thing here about El Salvador is that even in establishments that Walmart owns, the culture of El Salvador continues to thrive by putting out its produce outside for the people to see. I'm not sure if this person actually works for Super Selectos, but hey, get it how you live. This is how you allow the normal man to make his money as well. So even though they sell their things inside, this person out here is selling his things outside. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. They have repollo, they have some squash, they have some chile, they have some tomatoes, they have everything you need, rather you are inside or outside all right even some rambutan which most people just call them leeches they're out here all right super selectos hola oh yeah all right so let's go in there and see what this super selectos is all about late night market tour how do i get in here empuje empuje Oh, even out here. Oh, same thing before I go in. Look at this. Ah, Loroco outside. Late night market. Strawberries, peaches, anything you want. Anything you need. Ah. 
super selecto. Oh, yeah, let's see what's all about. So here in the Super Selectos, in Sonsonate, they have everything a person would need in regards to the common household goods. We have pan blanco, about a dollar and ten cents, which is a, a little bit around the price that you'll see in the U.S., but a lot less. You know, um, the prices in the U.S. have gone up so tremendously. I'm telling you, it'd probably be a good thing for you to come live here in El Salvador and save your money because. They have the greatest prices here for the common household goods. All right, we have some cookies. You see some Fresca cookies. Look at that, three for 325. Look at that deal right there. We even have some semitas, semitas pachas, quesadillas, hojaldras. We have some cake, some pastillas. Man, anything you need. This is the place to be. And one of the greatest things I say is that we have coffee from El Salvador. So, Nescafe Listo, many different things. All right, I don't know exactly which ones, but I know that I've seen many of them that are definitely from El Salvador. And they taste super good because there's no need to export to import. They already have it here. Cos Cafe, anything. I remember I made a video while I was out there. I think I was in La Union where I was like, President Bukele, where in the world it's a Salvadorino coffee. Where can I find cafe, cafe? hecho in El Salvador? Vendes aquí o no? No, no hay café. I can't find it anywhere. ¿A dónde venden? ¿A dónde venden? ¿A dónde venden café? Hecho in El Salvador. Which one is El, Salva El Salvador? No? No hecho coffee in El Salvador? No. ¿Por qué no? No idea. Well, he doesn't know. And I don't know. <laughs> so one day we'll figure out where's the El Salvador coffee. And then boom, coffee from El Salvador right there. Many people like it. This woman right here seemed to have gotten this right here. Let's see, is this chocolate or is this coffee? Chocolate de tabalilla, this is chocolate. But hey, I guess that's from El Salvador as well. Let's take a look. Look at that, El Salvador, just like that. Chocolate de tabalilla. All right, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Rico. Rico Cafe in El Salvador. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Hecho en casa, nuevo imagine, mismo sabor hecho en casa. All right, we even have ramen noodles, favorites from Japan with kimchi, favorites from Korea. Uh, these prices, they seem super similar to the US, about $1.50. These right here, I'm not sure if this is uh, a good price because I guess these are being imported from Japan or from US then here. I'm not sure how it works. We have some Maggi. All right, if you need some seasoning for your food, you come right here and you get it just like that. Nor cubes, some aceite, anything you need. So for those watching, yes, pretty much it's everything you're used to in the USA. So you may wonder, oh man, is my family out here starving? Here in El Salvador, they don't have the same things we have here in the USA. Just pump your brakes. Yes, they do. Every single thing. Mazola. All right. Different words. Marisol. But it's all the same. It's all the same. So send your money if you feel like it. But hey, they good. <laughs> they good. You know. Let's look at the. Let's look at the carne. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at that. All right, you see you have some, some, some beef, salon de res, lomoto de aguja, molida premium de res, carnitas con chicharrón, some pollo, gallina, toro. You even have hot dogs y chorizo. Chorizo is a big, wonderful, Chorizo is a wonderful staple here in Central America and North America as well, and Mexico, as many forget. This is North America. Even though we say Central America, this is still North America geographically. People understand your geography. This is still North America. Now let's look at the snacks, huh? Look at this, Pringles. 
super ripoff. <laughs> so do understand that sometimes there will be a ripoff of certain things because I guess this is being imported from the USA. So this is not a good price. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get this for $1.25 at this time. So watch out for the Pringles. Watch out for the Lay's. All right, this is a deal. So we got two for $1.50. Usually this is about $1.50 in itself. So that's pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good price. We have different type of chips. I don't know what Cappy is, Ranchitas. I don't know if this has anything to do with Frito-Lay, but they call them yummies here. Some yum, 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 yummies all day long. Taki Takis, I know they have that in the USA. All right, look at this. And now we have our alcohol. Our alcohol is essentially next to the snack aisle. So you can essentially get all the different type of bourbons and proofs of alcohol you need just to get yourself in the stage of borracho, if that's what you like. Pilsner, Golden, Imperial, Regia Extra, anything you need. We have here, Dentro and Las Super Selectas. Look at that, even Pollo Campero has found a way, has found a way to monetize this salsa Mostaza here in the Super Selectos for $2.25. Okay, so I'm not just here to essentially record everything. I'm actually going to get some water. So let's see if I can find a gallon. Let's not get shut down. All right. Let's see if I can find some water. I thought he was going to come for me, but he didn't. All right, where's the, where's the gallon of water? I got to stay hydrated. All right, so they got the guy, he's over there on the, on the microphone, like, oh, look at him, da 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 So we're going to find some water, because that's what I need. All right. I'm like persona non grata here with the camera. All right, so eventually I'll find the water, and then I'll be out of here before I get into any trouble. Okay. Gotta go. JC Max out. Oh. Ah. Now I'm here back at the hotel and I got my two waters, my agua invasada. I got it for what, 85 cents? I can say that Super Selectos trip was pretty, in, pretty enticing, I can say. It was super funny because um, I got a little nervous when I was in there because the security guards were like trying to act like they weren't trying to scope me out. Like, who is this guy doing? What is this guy doing with this camera? So you, I would see them like go like the and like talking on their thing like as I was approaching. But then the guy saw me looking at him and he went and I was like, ah, this guy gotcha. And then I saw a guy like way above up there at the top of the Super Selectos is looking down at me intently like, what is this guy doing? And I'm like, come on guys, why are you gonna do this to me, man? But, you know, this is pretty funny. I don't know, you probably don't really see people walking around with cameras much. So in the end, I was like, man, let me just put this camera away because I don't want no problems. The security guard from earlier already done gave me enough problems. Comedores and different shops you can find here in Terminal Nueva. Foto? Oh, photos prohibido, pero what about video? So it was actually pretty funny, essentially. So I went and got some gallon water. I'll be here in Cincinnati for a couple of more days. And two gallons of water should do me well. Super Selectos is great with the price. Uh, in the U.S., pretty much a gallon at Walmart is like about a dollar ten these days. So I will be drinking this right here. Uh, sorry to say my Roku is not working because I can tell you this hotel plaza is basura. I will never come here again. They have essentially a Wi-Fi router and two spots in the hall and two spots below. I'm on the second floor. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. They have a camera right there, but I'm in my undies, so whoop. So they have one right there and one all the way down there. Man, those things do nothing. So my Roku is essentially useless. Got it right here. I plugged it in the back of this crummy TCL TV. And 
it can't connect to anything at all. There's two wireless router points. There's one for the first floor, one for the second. Same password, doesn't work at all. So I can't do anything. I might not even be able to edit while I'm here in Cincinnati because I need the internet for translation assistance. So in the end, I guess you'll just have to wait until I'm in another city and then I'll upload things then. But other than that, I'll try to enjoy myself the best I can. But this Hotel Plaza, if I can give you two stars, that's what I would give you. I'm sorry. If you're going to advertise free Wi-Fi, give it enough range to get through these concrete walls. Because how is a YouTuber supposed to edit? Come on now. Another thing than that, they don't even give you remote control. This is my Roku remote. So what I had to do, actually two times, I had to first go down and get the password. Then I come back up and I find out I don't have a remote for the television. <laughs> so I had to go back down again. I'm like, okay, you didn't get a remote. She was like, okay, it's here. She had like a whole bunch of remotes in her hand. I'm like, why didn't you just leave it in the room? And if you don't leave it in the room, while I was at the reception, that she should have gave me the Wi-Fi password and gave me the remote. So I had to keep coming back downstairs trying to figure out why things are missing in the room. So just a little bit of customer service issues here at this hotel plaza. That I wish that they would kind of tighten up because little things like that is just an annoyance for someone who's just used to having things just ready for them. Not that it has to be first world, just simple. If you know you don't have a remote control in the room, give it to them as they're checking in. Same thing with the Wi Fi password, so don't have to keep coming downstairs bothering you. So, other than that, I'm not complaining and I'm explaining to you the experience here at the hotel. So, if you want to see how my park visit went here in Cincinnati, click this video right here above my head and it'll show exactly all the things that I did. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to Jesus, not to me, because I'm just a vessel to remind you of that. Have a blessed day.